uh, I'm about to introduce stocks by request. Do you have any stocks by request? But you don't even trade stocks? No. Yeah. So what can people expect about stocks by request? I love the energy. What's, <laughs> what's happening? Sleepy. Why are you sleepy? People want to see you. They're requesting if you can do the stocks by request. So do you no. Comment below if you want if you want to do the, st the stocks by request. Comment below if you want her to break it down. What I can say is, good evening everyone. Welcome to today's session of stocks by request. That was. Yeah, just making me Gaia. Just making me Gaia. So for this session, we, we will uh, feature the stocks that you've requested via Facebook. Uh, we have a plethora of stocks from, don't do that, from uh, Vistaland, AC, I think Jollibee is part of the mix, uh, MRC, Vita is also there. So, Vita Coco? Vita Coco, Vita Coco. Not Vita Coco. <laughs> na naman na sa isip mo. So, uh, check out the top stocks that you've requested. I know it's a holiday tomorrow, but what we're gonna do is... <laughs> hindi Christmas vacation. I know it's a holiday tomorrow, but we're gonna do another one tomorrow so that you have another reference point as the market starts to open this Tuesday. And then, so you can win. It's a shortened trading week, but so that you can analyze the stocks properly. Use the evening as an area for you to analyze the markets so check this video out boom okay let's do this good evening everyone it's now our sunday stocks by request i know it's a holiday tomorrow there's no trading but if there's more time we can do more again tomorrow but what we'll do is we'll analyze the top stocks that you requested via social media so comment below on the top stocks that you would want us to talk about and we'll break it down for all of you so if you're new to this the top stocks your name where you're from and then we'll analyze it this is all under the guise of technical analysis and it's regardless if you are an investor or a trader but we're analyzing this based on what the charts are telling us because I believe that everything you need to know is found in the charts everything you need to know is found under what the charts are telling us so that's what allows you to do things so without hype or speculations so I don't know who among you are still studying the charts even though there's a holiday tomorrow who among you are studying the charts even though the markets will not open tomorrow and what's nice about that though, since there's a holiday it gives you more time to analyze uh, your trade so let's begin and ayan now we now have people joining us so people are asking where will i be next week this wednesday i will be in dubai so for our friends from dubai and some dubai that want to know about investing insights that's what i'm going to talk about there then when i get back stock smarts manila purely technical and fundamental analysis because i really believe that's one of the best ways for you to trade and to win so we have a special guest yeah, come here. Okay. Uh, while I'm greeting them, say hello to everyone first. To the to YouTube and to Facebook. Uh, okay. <laughs> say hello na lang. To Facebook and then YouTube. Hello, Facebook and YouTube. <laughs> okay. So that's it. Okay. Hello, Leah Buenaventura asking for Green MRC. She's from Qatar. Uh, Got Beans is from South Korea. Jasper. Uh, so asking for SPC, Madera, Orchi, hello to you. Vilma Flores from Batangas asking for SMC. JJ Fiesta asking for Aban, PIP, he's from Dubai. Uh, God bless you too. Gilbert from Malaysia asking for GT Cup. And Chip, John Burgos from Manila asking for JG Summit. Michael Aquino, who's a top fan, is asking for CEI from Surigao. I haven't been to Surigao, no, but I'll be in Butuan naman uh, March, I think March 6 to 8. So for those who are close to Butuan City, I hope to meet you there alan roda asking for rlc and pizza uh, a top fan uh, edgar arcoy asking for t sun and web andy festins asking for blue meters cell signal all right let's do this uh let's start first with let's do mrc na lang para kay Leah naman so para we can get the context of what she she wants there now. so let's see mrc okay for MRC, if you notice, no, what I'll do is I'll zoom out a bit so you have greater context. 
MRC, it's if you look at it, it's already consolidating at this level. It's uh, moving at this uh, particular range. You know? So if you look at MRC, you have a support at around uh, 0 0.40, 0 0.41, and a resistance at around 0 0.48. If this range is good enough for you, then it could be an area for you if you want to if you want to trade this range. This is about uh, from this perspective. Now it's around. It's a 16-17% trade, so it's quite reasonable also for quick trading. But if you notice it, uh, since the start of the year, or at least uh, mid-January, it really hasn't gone anywhere as well. And that's uh, even even price and momentum oscillators are confirming from this perspective that well, there's no momentum. And you can't really expect a stock to really bounce up or even break out at this point in time if it has no momentum. But uh, that's the range for MRC as of now. Now, next. Uh, let's look at hmm, that's interesting. So again, para kay JJ Fiesta is asking for ABA. Let's look at ABA. Let's look at ABA. So again, this is under the context still of technical analysis. Uh, if you look at this, same thing. I'll zoom out so you get greater context. Uh, ABA from a trend perspective, if you look at this, it's still progressing and moving in its uptrend. Even moving averages are confirming uh, the upward movement of the stock as well. Now. For if so, what does that mean? If you are a position trader holding ABA, um, stock is still in its uptrend. There's no reason, there's no rhyme for you to sell yet. Now, if you are a quick trader, what I'll do is I'll place a resistance here and I'll place a support level here and then another resistance at this level. So meaning, as I start zooming in, there's one thing that you know now. Uh, you know that the support at 0.75 has not held its ground meaning the stock is breaking down that 0.75 now is now the new resistance and should it progress no should the selling happen further it may go down to 0.60 pesos 0.60 pesos per share so meaning if the consolidation pattern continues I've, i mentioned this in the previous videos that uh, the market has gone up and has started to consolidate and that's what you will see for a lot of the stocks that are in the market right now now looking at the context of this also should this particular move happen this is what you can expect uh, for ABA if this does not hold you may expect it to go lower how low can it possibly go I believe the next possible retracement area the next possible drop for ABA if it does not hold the 0.60 level it can bring it to the 0.48 uh, peso per share level now Gilbert from Malaysia is asking for GT Capital uh, I was saying this to investors last year, you know, especially when GT Capital went below 700. Uh, that was an amazing area for you to buy it if you were an investor. Now, if you're a trader, you have to notice I mentioned this area where it was developing higher, higher lows, but you have to look at this also. From this perspective, the uh, two to three month uptrend is also broken. However, it's still above a lot of our bullish indicators, MACD moving averages are still showing that it's bullish. But similar thing, there's similar narrative now. It's the, the move up, I think uh, the two month move up is done. Uh, the next possible narrative for this is if you put this over here, it has a support level here and it has a resistance level here. So similar to ABA, similar to majority of the stocks in the broad market, you are now seeing it starting to consolidate. So you have a support at 1,000, then you have a resistance at 1,100. So here's the possible uh, movement and retracement level for this. If this does not hold, next possible drop for GT Capital will be around the 880 peso uh, level for the short term. So uh, for those who who wanted to take profits and you are a trader, this could have been an area for you to take profits. Look at this. If one, two, three, four, four days of hesitation failing to break out from this level and another take profit signal could be this. So if this drops further, uh, this could be also another sell signal for you if you want to trade it that way. So there. Uh, Michael Aquino asking for ISM. Uh huh. Andy Festin asking for Bloom. Is there a sell signal already for Bloom? That's quite a good question because Bloom also had its movement up already. You know? If you look at this, and I'll try to zoom out from this, you all know that Bloom uh, escaped the downtrend over here, and now it's now starting to reverse up. And the upward movement here, as it's trying to push up further, uh, is still it's still pretty much in an uptrend. So if you are a person who wants to who, who bought it because of the trends that are happening, there's still no sell signal from a trend perspective. However, one of the reasons why it's not going up yet as of the past few days is because there's a resistance of 13 pesos 
and because there's a resistance of 13 pesos any stock that hits a resistance will have a hard time to go up meaning if it does not break the resistance a possible retracement level for it will be around uh, this level the 11.75 level so failure to break out of the 13 peso level you may expect it to just again similar to the other stocks that i've mentioned start to consolidate but if it breaks out suddenly breaks out from this a breakout of 13 from bloom will bring the stock to around uh, 14.5 14 14.6 pesos per share for the short term um mick kaliao asking for vll where are you from mick by the way if you want a request please comment your stocks and then where you're from i'm just curious i just want to know uh where you guys are from so that will be the context that will be the framework of how we do the stocks by request sessions as well okay next for Vistaland, very legit thing, yeah, no? solid volume, money is coming in, and if I zoom out, st it's still holding this level. You have to understand, as long as this level holds, even yeah, around the 7 peso level, as long as that, peso, that range will hold, uh, I believe the upward movement will still be pretty much present. But if you look at it from short, mid, and long-term oscillators, VLL, still bullish, you are a position trader, no sell signal. VLL from the last trading day it had two straight large candles and the last one had very very large volume if there's one thing I know I follow, follow volume because why price volume precedes price that if volume is very very strong and buying and it's bullish there's a greater narrative that it could still continue up so I wouldn't be shocked that if it breaks past the 8 peso level uh, for VLL that can, you could continually see a larger movement up now. Here's what you need to remember. Breakout from 8 for the short term. Vista Land would probably go to 9.3 for the short term with a larger bias and preference that it could still go to 10. So breakout from 8, short term target price 9.3. Breakout from 9.3 will go to 10. So interesting days for those who own the stock. Congratulations. That's how you win it. You don't have to look at high perspectivation for you to be able to... Uh, Go about your trades from that perspective. So there. Uh, this is Rochelle Bella asking for green. Uh, Gilo Sagari asking for pure gold. Costco. Uh, thank you so much. Marlon C. Asking for Mimer. JJ Ace. Marlon C. Where are you from? JJ Ace. Uh, where are you from? Also asking for Eagle. EWM White Pizza. VLL. We've already talked about uh, VLL. Let's talk about Mega White. Or hmm, uh, East West Bank. Well, Mega White. What do you want? East West Bank. Mega White. Comment below on what you want. Uh, and then we'll will do that. Uh, Bella Peña, good evening. Uh, Nesty, Matim Tim from Dubai. Dami tago Dubai, ah. Ronald Javier asking for VLL, MRC. We're done with uh, MRC. We're also done with VLL. Madera Ochi is asking for MRC, LR Vita. Again, MRC is done. I, Ian, Sean, San Miguel. Greetings is asking for Pure Gold, SMC, Wilcon, Mayor. Thanks a million. Uh, from Cayman Islands. Whoa! Madami hidden wealth po si ano, ah. Ian San Miguel, mga taga Cayman Islands, mga hidden wealth persons yan. Offshore accounts. Is that true, Ian San Miguel? Comment below. <laughs> uh, let's look at Pure Gold. Okay, Pure Gold. Pure Gold. There. For Pure Gold, very, very textbook technical analysis. Pure Gold is now at the resistance. The range that it has been moving is from 44 to 48. So support is 44, resistance 48. Failure to break out of 48, the stock will be traced further but back to around the 44 level. But if it breaks out of 48.7 pesos per share, possible movement, possible narrative, possible target price for Pure Gold. Just keep on zooming out until you find the next target price, which is around the 54 peso level, 53.9 level. So break out from 48. Target price 53.9, 54. Failure to break up 48. The stock will go to the four, uh, 44 level. So uh, that's a progression. That's the movement of your goal. But if you try to also look at it here, uh, what's interesting about that is this. I'm gonna try to. Uh, there you go. It's now also starting to develop its own uh, upward movement. Look at this higher high and higher low. So as if it starts to continue in its uptrend, it's pretty much possible that the break up from 48 is still uh, in the realm of our reality. Not so, so deep realm of our reality. Uh, next, uh, Debbie Mon Monacilio asking for AC and Security Bank. Uh, you have to remember, no, the index, the PSEI is hinged on where AC, Ali, SM, Video, SM Prime will go. Because where the stocks will go, it's a, it's a 
pinpoint of how high the index will go as well. Um, Kenneth Dalmasio asking for CLI. Dane Pittman from Yoha asking for Mega White. Uh, good evening, Sir H. Suarez is asking for Orion FMI. Let's look at MY. I mentioned below that. So, yeah, comment below if you wanted MY or uh, the other stock. So, by the way, I'm a bit tired. I came from a seminar. Um, I landed a few hours ago from Legaspe City with PNB. Then, a few hours after that, I went to Batangas, to Talisay Batangas, so for a talk for for, uh, for for life. We talked about how you can diversify and how you can pick and choose now which investments will work for you because at the end of the day you may be good in investing in the stock market but it's not just about picking good stocks but it's about properly allocating a good uh, asset portfolio for you so there that's why i needed the water just to hydrate myself because i've been talking for the whole day so mega wide look at this uh, mega wide Resistance is over here. Boom. Suddenly, if you zoom in, Megawide broke out there. But because even MACD is telling you and showing you that there's really not much of momentum yet, but you know it's bullish, as also confirmed of it breaking out from this area. As the bullish movement of that, and plus you see here the lows are starting to increase and developing a higher low. If there's a narrative that the stock will continue in its uptrend but what's very 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 important and notable for this is it has to start to break out from the 18.6 level say above the 18.6 level the breakout for mega white its continuation of it being in an uptrend is hinged on it staying above the 8.6 8.8 level but a breakout from that if you are a quick trader will bring mega white for the short term to 21.25 breaks out from 21.25 the stock will go to around 24 peso level but from a position trading standpoint mega wide is in an uptrend all right so kati oliveros for doa hello to you rafael manibo good evening to you as well christopher makaneg asking for agi petron christine asking for video shirley for jets show asking for pen and aba uh, rj altar asking for jfc uh, Matt Moed asking from Saudi Arabia is asking for Meralco. Christopher Mahadeng asking for SEC. We haven't done SEC in a while. So let's see SEC. There. SEC, boom. SEC is a good mining company, large mining company. But if you look at the context, the narrative of this, stay away from the stock. Why? Because it's in a massive, 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 massive downtrend. The goal, if you are a position trader, so stay away from stocks that are in downtrends. So for SEC, you are a position trader, stay away as of this point in time. If you are a quick trader, let me show this to you. It's now close to the support level, but if I zoom in, delicado yung SEC, why? Because it's floating at the 22.7 support if it fails to break out from this. By the way, this looks like from a uh, chart pattern perspective, I discuss chart patterns in stock smarts, but I'm not a big fan of it. But if you look at the narrative this looks like a very 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 bearish pattern still this looks like a descending triangle a failure to break a failure to hold 22.7 would bring the stock possibly lower um, a very very strong support for this would be around this level which is quite far so i i, I believe that if 22.7 will not hold it could possibly go back to their 18.9 level for uh the short term so it's very very interesting but i hope that helps you then next is and dami na comment na ano ha uh, Jollibee if you want Jollibee please comment below and we'll analyze it as well Giovanni Dumanig asking for Wilcon House DDPHR by the way DD no uh, before we go to JFC uh, DD same thing same boat uh, if you look at this and if you stretch this it tried to make its move eh. uh, don't get me wrong I tried to make its move but the resistance here is still pretty much legit it's what's blocking double dragon from going up if you draw this downtrend, ayan eh, very 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 strong and still very very steep so it must break out from this level. Double Dragon is at the cusp you know, of either moving up heavily, massively or uh, it's, it goes and does nothing at all. So I would watch out for the 25 and 29 level as an area for me to see if a reversal is happening. And the name of the game also is you don't actually have to spot the bottom. That's been my style eh, ever since. I'm not about spotting the bottom. I'm all about finding key reversals. So I don't care if I buy it, not at the lowest point, but I want to buy it when the charts 
are indicating to me that hey it's done falling and now it started to reverse and that's how i do it marie bettine is from hong kong asking for now by the way i'll be in hong kong this august so uh for for kababayans that are there i hope that um, you take the time also to learn and use technical analysis for the trade well karangyan hello to you irene carino asking for bloom bloom is done uh as she's also asking for ssi and dami tatanong ng downtrends ha sec is in a downtrend double dragon is in a massive downtrend uh sec uh ssi look at this uh if you look at its massive movement here this was its one large down move then it had another large down move if you look at the main context of this from a very very long perspective it looks that it's in a very very long consolidation pattern already which started from 2015 after the drop it hasn't really uh, massively moved up after that uh, level now for the short term also if you look at this it tried to move up here this move up if you look at it is broken after that after that movement it started to consolidate the problem though last last week is it broke down from the 2.3 uh, 2.25 support level meaning this area is now the new resistance and the new uh movement and the new narrative for uh ssi is it will move from 2.1 to 2.3 with a very 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 uh thin range so now for those who bought here at 2.08 and then uh, you already see that the 200 day moving average is a resistance this is a 10 percent trade if it fails to break out from this level it's not wrong to take profits it's not wrong to win and, and if it fails to break out from that level so failure to break out from 2.3 sell take profits it will retrace back to 2.08 2.1 break out from 2.3 it will bring the stock to 2.5 and you're supposed to hold uh if you are watching the stock from that level so jefferson quinton is asking for meg uh, John Cabrera Cortez asking for ANI ABB JG Summit. John Cliftea, um, a valid commenters asking for IRC. Steve Castillo asking for STR TVGI. He's from Pasay City. Nelson Manalo asking for AC SSI. Uh, let's do Mega World from Sydney, Australia. Naman. Uh, for Mega World, here, boom. What's interesting about Mega World is this. This is a this is an uptrend. Yes. The uptrend for Mega World is still progressing. What's important for Mega World though as it starts to consolidate, it's now building another base. It must break out from this 5.4 level. Break out from this 5.4 level will bring the stock to 5.8. So very, very important. You are a position trader. Look at the trend line that I I created. If the trend line is not broken, hold, there's no compelling reason for you to sell. If you are a quick trader, 5.4. So take profit area, uh, failure to break out from 5.4, possibly it will just go to the 5.05, 5.5 level. Break out from 5.4 will bring the stock to 5.8 for the short term. So next, uh, Marites, dami naman ito Marites, from Ilo, Ilo JFC, Ali, T, uh, BPI, Petron, uh, Jeff, Gilefreya, Hi Kido, Sher, Shergi, Fulgencio, hello to you. Uh, Mikey Cedric asking for tugs. Uh, is it part of the lower range already? Glen Estrada from Pangasinan. RJ Altar asking for uh, JFC. She Sabroleda asking for to go. John Ong uh, from Subic asking for Costco. Uh, hmm. Let's do JFC now. See There's a lot of people asking for JFC. Let's do JFC. There. JFC, same thing. JFC is consolidating. There. Very, 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 very textbook consolidation. Support is 3.05, resistance 3.25. Bounce from 3.25 will bring the stock back. Uh, bounce from 3.5 will bring the stock back up to 3.25. Failure to hold, uh, failure to hold 3.05 will bring the stock down here to the 2.91 level, which is a short-term support for Jollibee. So there. Uh, Joseph Hustos asking for glow. Uh, Chi Sarboledas asking for to go. Uh, Mark Gonzalez asking for MD. Carlson Ceban is asking for MRSGI, CEI, WPI. Um, Geoffrey Rosil from Cebu is asking for MDT Augusto Cuatro. Hello from Dubai. Um, Lisoy Tubaso asking for Mayor from Bahrain. You have a lot of people asking for MPI, so let's do MPI. MPI? 
here. Look at MPI. Uh, if I'll zoom out, yeah, no. You look at it, it's at the low, lower range of a very, very large consolidation. If you're looking at it here, you have a resistance at this level, you have a support at this level. Um, MPI, because it failed to break out of the 5.15 level, that's why you are seeing it start to not go up anymore. It's pretty much because of it failing to break out of the 5.15 level. And if you let me zoom in further, it's now at the cusp also. It failed to hold last week this 200-day moving average, which uh, from our perspective should have been a strong support, meaning a failure to hold on to this level will bring the stock to around 4.25. I repeat, failure to hold that level will bring the stock to 4.25 now. Pwede yung saluhin. Fails to go above the 4.25 level, uh, it may go even lower. But if it bounces from that, after the drop, buy it. Target price should be around the 5.25 level. As you could expect it to just continue to start ranging. This is a 20-21% trade for all of you. So John Ong oh, from Subic, that's the answer. Sid Kakasid, we've done MRC. Dami nige MRC. Bernard Anduyon from Dubai. Hello to you guys. Bernard Anduyon, sobrang yaman yan. Leo Leo asking for MD, uh, Joey Villarreal asking for PAL, Jeff De La Rosa asking for ne uh, uh, Mer, so let's do Mer, Meralco. For Mer naman, and solid. What made it start to go up was the bounce from here, meaning it every time it hits this strong support level, you see it normally bounce and solid bounces from Mer. Now, if that bounce will continue to progress, target price should be around 395 or 400 for you. So for those who bought at the bounce of 358, congratulations. Set your target price to around 3.92 or as high as uh, 400 pesos for you for uh, the short term. So there. Uh, hmm. Yeah, holiday bukas no market. Let's look at PLBT naman oh. Mitch Kalkaliao from uh, Sabuanga City, Dandan Ruiz from Leyte. Uh, there. Uh -huh. Ro Ryan is Eustachio, Ellen da Bastida, hello to you. Um, Rihe Altar asking for uh, Jollibee. By the way, I I'm interested to know, no, we're almost at the end of February. What's your most profitable stock so far since the market has been good? This year, I assume that majority of you are crushing it and making money in the markets as of this point in time. So, uh huh. There's a lot of people asking for Poppy. Uh, Stock Smarts buy one take one. My daughter wants to attend. Uh, any chances? Uh, the book resistance is for you. So, of course, it will always be Hong Kong when it's there. Or you can just order it online and it, it will be uh, delivered to you. Just from Taiwan, I remember you. Uh, good evening. When's the stock smarts in Taiwan? It's in November. www.bit.ly slash stock smarts Taiwan uh, 2019. So there. Uh, GT Capital from Annalyn Garcua from CDO. We did it already. Uh, tapos na yun. Um, Jag Kilpona. Bakit bloody? Dapat tina bloody. Dapat up na yan. Uh, Rodel from Dubai asking for Poppy. Sige, let's do Poppy. A lot of you guys are asking for Poppy. Let's do Poppy. I created a blog post about it, by the way, no? that because Poppy will be replaced into a ALL, Ayala Logistics Company, uh, that's what all this movement is about. That's what this breakout is about. That's what uh, this breakout is about also. So if it stays above the 3 peso level, you can expect Poppy to challenge this. I, I believe holding 3 will bring uh, Poppy to around 3.65 level. From position trading standpoint, Poppy is also bullish. No need for you to sell as of this point in time. So, uh, Arvik Santos, tapos na tayo sa ABBA. Richard Katubig, we've already talked about SSI. Uh, Jag Giliofina from Las Piñas asking for IRC. Hmm. A lot of people are asking about PLDT, so let's do PLDT and I'll, uh, I'll see it from here. And same. Look at this. Failed to hold this support level, but it started to bounce. You have to remember yung bounce niya. The resistance is at 1125, but if I zoom out, pretty much massive downtrend for 
uh, PLDT. So if you're a position trader, stay away. People are asking kung may pag-asa kung umakit yung PLDT. As of this point in time, it really hasn't started to reverse yet. I'll let you know should a reversal happen. But as of this point in time, it needs to break out from the 1385 level for it to have a chance to start to reverse and start to go up. So there. Uh, that's it for now. Bitin muna. We'll do another one tomorrow since it's a holiday. So, so that it will be fresh as the market starts to uh, open on Tuesday. So that's it for now. I'll be in Dubai this Wednesday. Stock Smarts Manila this March 9. Butuan this March 6, 7, 8. Cebu this April 6 and 7. Uh, Japan April 13. Um, Singapore May 18, 19. The largest investment conference in the Philippines. Buy one, take one tickets. Uh, Icon 2018, May 25. I hope to see you there. And I hope this video encourages you, pushes you to trade the markets with confidence. To help you win, that winning in the stock market is not as hard because you can do it, you can trade with confidence. But it's not dependent on your background. It's not dependent on who you are. But it's all dependent on how much you want it and how much you want to trade and how much you want to prepare as much attention to learn because at the end of the day stock market is all about skill and it's don't focus on earning money focus on building that skill because it's that skill that will let you earn money later on so that's it for now Marvin Germo from Metro Manila I hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart see you all, all again soon guys and God bless you all